Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be reviewing the ColourPop collection. This is the Haunted Mansion movie collection. This is limited edition, so make sure you guys get your hands on it ASAP. I also have a discount code with ColourPop, which gets you $5 off of your purchase. I do not earn any commission if you use my code, but that's just a little, little extra for you to get some money off of your purchase. If you guys do wanna support me, and you know earn me some commission then shop through the link that i have down below in my description box and that in that way i do earn commission which supports me and my kids and i'm very very grateful for your guys' support even just by clicking on today's video i really appreciate your support let me know down below in the comments if you guys have already gone to watch the haunted mansion i won't spoil it for you but for me personally when i went with my kids they i thought it was a really funny like more funny than scary movie um, so I definitely enjoyed it. My kids enjoyed it and we just enjoyed spending time together. This collection doesn't have a wide variety of things. I think ColourPop always launches a whole massive collection. This one is a little bit more on the minimal side, but I, I still love it. You guys will see all of my thoughts and see how I came about the look that you guys are seeing on my face throughout this video. And I'm going to take you through every single product that comes up a part of the collection. I'm not going to use everything, unfortunately, but I will show you guys how I came about the look using some other products. So it comes with the Welcome Foolish Mortals eyeshadow palette. Await your fate with 15 goalish shades of grays, neutrals, and pops of bright color in matte, metallic, matte sparkle, and pearlescent glitter finishes. We also have the Color Changing PH Ultra Glossy Lip. I did not know that that was a PH Color Changing Lip lip Gloss or whatever. Work the graveyard shift with our first ever Color Changing PH Lip Gloss that changes from smoky purple into a custom pink shade that works perfectly with your skin tone. Um, yeah, I again, I didn't know. So let me see if I can swatch this on the back of my hand. See... How that looks that's pretty cool because I love using glosses that change in color on my lips for the gym so it looks purple in the container as you guys can see and then it gives more of a pinky it just looks more pinky I love that you also get the glow in the dark literally obsessed join the sequence circle with our first ever glow in the dark body glitter Gel inspired by Madame Loda. Leoda. Leoda. That's easy to use and mess free. Girl, I did not know this was glow in the dark. I'm going to go into the restroom right now and see how this looks. I'm excited to show you guys. Hopefully it does glow in the dark. And here is how it looks in the dark. Bro, this does not glow in the dark, but it does sparkle really, really nice under the right lighting. I am mesmerized by how beautiful the eyes look right now. Woo, it's getting hot up in here. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the Ultra Matte Lip. Journey through haunted chambers with the nude and dark hues of our comfy matte liquid lipstick that's long lasting, lightweight, and delivers intense color payoff in one swipe. Currently right now, I'm wearing the color Hitch a Ride. And I'm really into these type of colors, like a reddish one, not my style. Definitely love me a nude, but like a purplish tone one. I don't know why that just speaks to me. And then we also have Super Shock Shadows. Beware of the ghost with icy, teal, violet, and duochrome shades of our cult favorite cream to powder formula that delivers supercharged, ultra creamy color with zero fallout. And we have a total of... This is really annoying because I know there was four of them and recently I was reviewing the new James Charles paints for you and I lost the other paint why does this happen to me and sometimes they just appear when I'm not even looking for them anymore like for what yeah para que anyways there are a total four okay I'll show you guys on the screen what they look like ya lo encontré estaba en el baño it was in the bathroom 
yeah, there's a total of four, as you guys can see on the screen. I really like the Super Shock Shadow Formula, and I also did apply it as a highlighter. You'll see which one throughout the video, so you just got to make sure that you stay tuned and watch all the way through. And now let's go ahead and get into the tutorial portion of the video. Let's go. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer so that we can go in with some eyeshadow and get the best color payoff from each eyeshadow individually. There is not, there isn't a ColourPop palette that I've had trouble blending. So I'm really hopeful for this one, but there are purples in this color. There are purples in this eyeshadow palette and makes me a little nervous because purples can be patchy at times. But we'll see if ColourPop comes through with their formula. This is going to be giving like little goth vibes. I'm going to take the color Corridor of Doors. Corridor of Doors. That is that shade right there. I'm going to begin to pack it onto the crease like so. I kind of want to do a halo eye. I haven't done one of those in a while. So just packing it on like that. I'm going to begin to... Blend out the edges. Doesn't have to be super perfect, just as long as they are blended out. And then I want to darken it up a little bit using the color Graveyard Stroll. Still using the same exact brush that we just used. And we're really going to begin to deepen up the crease, like so. That looks pretty, but I almost want to add this lilac, kind of like, it's like a gray toned lilac color. It's called Portrait Chamber. With Portrait Chamber, I'm going to, oh God, I'm going to apply it right in here just to add a little bit of color. It's also, from what it looks like, a pretty soft shade. I almost want to apply it to the outer corner as well. Just like that. Picking up the color Sion Circle, Sh Shionse Circle, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's this color right here. It's like a, what do you call that color? Like a champagne shimmer. And I'm gonna apply it to the brow bone, like so. That's what I'm talking about. And now I'm gonna pick up the darkest shade from the palette. It's called New Orleans, New Orleans, or New Orleans. I don't know, one of those. And. We're going to deposit it right into the crease to deepen it up. I mean, it's not that dark. It is, but not that dark as I was hoping for. I'm really trying my best to build up on the color. But as you can see, this is probably as intense as that crease is going to get. I'm going in with a Q-tip and this micellar water from Garnier to remove the eyeshadow from my lid. I'm going to be creating a halo eye. You can see that we lost some of that pigment. Obviously, I removed it, but we didn't take that color up too high. The New Orleans, the darkest shade from the palette. So we're going to go back in to the crease with a pencil brush. And I want to make sure that we get that intensity back right at the, the crease right here so that we when we apply the eyeshadow on this empty area, it's really going to pop. And then I'm taking the color Graveyard Stroll, which is the dark gray from the palette and layering that right on top of that other color we just used. Again, we wanna create a pretty transition between all the colors. That looks pretty good to me. And now for an eyeshadow base, I know that we previously applied Rare Beauty, but now we're gonna take this one. It's a lot lighter in color, which is gonna make the colors that we apply on the lid to really stand out. This is the Ace Beauty Eyeshadow Amplifying Base in the color Light. I'm applying the base to the back of the hand. I'm also taking my painting brush. This one is from Michaels. I always have it linked down below in my description box. And I'm gonna begin to cut the crease, just like that. Now we have our guide and we know we have to stay right underneath there. So I'm gonna take a flat pencil brush. I'm gonna take a flat brush. This one here is from Sigma. It's the S20 brush. This brush is actually for eye creams, but I love how the bristles really move with the placement of whatever I'm using on the lid, whether it's concealer, an eye base, 
to clean up my eyebrows. It just works. Is that even looking okay? That looks aight. Alright, let me take a look at the palette and let me get an idea. Okay, I actually like the color Psychic Medium. Do I want to use that color? Maybe I want to use the color Ghost Host, and that's this one right here. It is the Super Shock Shadow Formula, so it's very, very buttery. I almost want to go in with my finger, but first I want to go in there with a flat brush so that we stay underneath the crease. We're going to, oh shit, I went into the wrong color. I'm going to lift up my eye just so that we get really good placement. Just like that. And once, once I already applied all of the color at the crease area, I'm going to go in with my finger because again, this is like a super shock shadow formula and it's best to apply this with your finger. I think I almost want to use this color as a highlighter as well. Speaking of Super Shock Shadows, we also received the Super Shock Shadows from this collection in the color Stare Down. I really want to use this to darken up the outer corners, the inner and outer corner of the center shade. And once again for this, I want to use a flat brush to stay right underneath the crease before going in with my finger because it's best. I'll keep repeating that. It's best to go in with your finger with this formula. Ooh, I think that was definitely the move. You see how it's just transitioning into each other really nice? That is looking really beautiful. There's so many different reflex in the purple and the first eyeshadow that we used at the center. Like the center one is like a white transitioning. It's like a white shimmer with like blue and green reflex. And then the purple has blue and like magenta reflex. So very pretty colors together. I'm going to go in with my finger now and just stamp it on. I'm going to go back into the color New Orleans. That's the dark, perp the dark brown from the palette. With this color, I'm gonna go right on top of the lash line, like so, just to darken that up. This look right here, I am experiencing quite a bit of fallout. So if you are playing with shimmers, always make sure you start off with your eyes first because you don't wanna make that mistake of getting everything all over your face. So I'm just deepening up The lash the inner and outer corner of the eye once I've done that I'm gonna take a pencil brush this one here is the morphe AB 315 brush and I'm gonna take the dark gray from the palette this one here is called graveyard stroll that's that one right there if you guys forgot and we're just gonna be applying it right on top of the previous color that we just applied I feel like I'm almost losing some of that super shock purple shade. So again, we're going to stamp it on with the finger overlapping those dark shades that we just placed. Yes. Okay. I did go back in with that gray shade and applying it to the outer corner. Like that. Looking so pretty so far. I'm going to grab the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This one here is in the color donut we're just taking that one onto the waterline like so grabbing a pencil brush and once again we're going to go into the dark shade from the palette called new orleans and apply it underneath the eyeliner that we just used let me grab a wipe to clean this all off i also want to clean up not clean up. I want to add a little bit more color to this inner corner right here to lighten it up a little bit because I don't know. I feel like when it's too dark like that, it just looks kind of scary. And um, even though it is like a Halloween 
collection or whatever. I don't want it to look too nuts. So I'm going to take this light gray shade right here. It almost looks white. It's called Endless Hallway. With Endless Hallway, we're just going to brighten up this inner corner. Ooh, girl. This is pigmented. So we're just blending that out to soften it up. I almost feel like I have to go in with my foundation and then come back and reapply this shade right here. But you guys get an idea. That is what the eye is looking like right now. I want to take some of the glitterly obsessed glitter and apply it to the center of the eye. We'll see how that goes because my eyes are so freaking sensitive to glitter, but I'm out here risking it all for you guys. That's that's how I love you, how much I love you guys. So I'm going to take some of the Glitterly Obsessed on the back, on the cap. And we're just going to apply it to the center of the eye. Okay. Ooh la la. Calm down, Tracy. Who are you? You are getting so creative lately. That's it for this eye. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to the other eye, to the rest of my face, and then I'm going to come back to share with you guys the other products that are a part of the collection. All right, I'm back. These are the eyes, and I am in love with how this looks. I did want to add another Super Shock shadow. This one here is in the color Creepin', and I want to add it as a highlighter. Did I already say that? I don't know, girl. But we're going to go in there with my ring finger that doesn't have a ring yet, but... Oh, the single ladies! I want your hands up! up. Uh -oh. I'm We're going to go in with that finger, and we're just going to tap it on. Oh, God. Did I mess up? I'm going to go in with my blush again to soften that up. Okay. I'm not the best at applying highlighters because I'm not used to wearing highlighters. I don't wear it because it just settles into all of my fine lines. This is the area where I literally have the most aging. So I try to like not smile and have a resting bitch face all the time. Just kidding. I have all those lines because I smile so much. That's that's the issue. It's not an issue, Tracy. What are you talking about? Here I am talking to myself, but it is not an issue to smile so much. I have to remind myself that. I'm going to go with a little bit right here on the nose, on the bridge. You know what? Let's tap a little bit in here. This look is fire. Now we're going to go in with a bold lip. I want to do this one because normally I would probably gravitate towards this color here. Um, this this one is not my cup of tea. It's my least favorite color, but this ultra matte lip in the color Hitch a ride Definitely something I would wear probably not going to do a lip liner since it is a bold color. I haven't even tried it Hopefully it's true to color. Oh Shizn it That looks so pretty. I don't even want to do gloss. I did receive this gloss here. It's the Ultra Glossy Lip. I just don't think it's necessary. I really like how it looks matte. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair off of camera. And then I'm going to show you guys the official completed look. Wardrobe change and everything. Okay? BRB. And I honestly feel like I'm giving witchy vibes. I already have a retching. Rest, retching. I already have a resting bitch face and this makeup just makes me look like such a B-I-T-C-H for real. Like Would you come approach me? <laughs> of course not. Like, girl. I do want to say that 
this makeup look came out so much prettier than I anticipated, even though I look like the Wicked Witch from the West. Like, this is giving Halloween vibes. Like, I'm a villain vibes. I think if I went with a lighter lip, this look would have been more wearable. Like, right now I do feel like a Wicked Witch. Let me know what you guys think about this collection. I had so much fun playing around with everything. I love the eyeshadow palette, especially going into like the fall and Halloween looks. I'm definitely going to be incorporating this palette into a lot of my looks coming up. So make sure you guys do follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok where I'll be playing around with this eyeshadow palette a lot more. And let me know what you guys are most intrigued about with this collection. They didn't have a large variety of different things. They just came out with the liquid lipsticks, the glitterly obsessed, the palette, um, and that's that was it. I think the Super Shock Shadow as a highlighter looks gorgeous. Let me know if you guys would rock this look down below in the comments. I thank you so much for your time that you've spent watching me. And uh, I hope you have already subscribed to my channel if you haven't done so. Click that red button down below and then also turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I do have a new video here on my channel. I try to be as quick as possible when it comes to these ColourPop collections because as soon as I receive one then I receive the other one back to back and I, I just try to keep up to date with all of them so thank you again and I'll see you guys hopefully in my next video bye guys